stage. At what point do regular, non-man-hating women wake up and say, this is not what we want, nor ever want it with seeking equality through feminism? With courts saying a woman can abort her child while married, give a child up for adoption while married, without the husband's consent, men no longer have any parental rights. Of course, this is the end game to end humanity by the Illuminati, NWO, and the Rothschilds, but feminists keep marching forward right into the void. I've already reported that the largest demographic of marital status in the U.S. is men being intentionally single with no children. Yes, even black men. At some point, this is going to reach a critical point. Critical meaning that there will be a point at which there will be so many single men that the remaining men will not be able to impregnate enough women to keep the population from dying off. This is the end goal of those secret organizations. When do women wake up and tell the feminists to stop? They're doing it for you, ladies. Or at least, that's what they say. And before you start yammering about, that's not what feminism is about, you might want to know that there are powerful, man-hating feminists sitting on the boards of corporations, in Hollywood, in DC, on Wall Street, in newsrooms, on speed dial. They dictate to those in power how they want things done according to their wishes. At what point do normal, well-adjusted women say, Sister, you're not doing this for me. If a man cannot raise his child, cannot keep his child alive, save his child from being torn away from him, and don't get it quit twisted, more men want their children then do not. He will stop making children. He will treat a woman as nothing more than a stress reliever like a beer after work. Women, I call on you to stop being complacent and rise up and tell your feminist man-hating champions to take a seat. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.